Right, we live. So you do your thing, me just there here watch you and help you. You tell me what to do, you watch and try, right, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I'm just wondering if the music is too loud. All right, we make a nice Guyanese style fried rice. We We're here at Vin's. <laughs> Hello, Badora. So we're just doing prep for the um, fried rice. That's a lot of uh, shallow. Uh, relax. We're going to do the, the, the pork as well, isn't it? So I'm going to have chop again. I'll make one. Yeah. Is that how much you always put in? It's a lot of rice, right? You know? Plenty rice meal. You will see how we become when you done. You're live, mate. Hello, guys. I was, I'm trying to do something different today. Here is somebody. So I'm visiting another fellow Guyanese. And today he's going to make a fried rice. His style. the moment so just doing some sweet pepper Larian you want some of this food over <laughs> you get big chef Sarat thing today there's no chef me it's just a natural come natural it's okay well let's say our guy needs man so now for cooking it yeah and look what you just bring and give me my hand look the only two have a clock you know look guy needs style you just bring this back, okay, man. Me know me supposed to do this. 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna show you what I meant to do with it. Look, like this. Mmm. Make the food taste sweeter. Yes, girl, I hope you're gonna star me. I'm gonna give it so. Come music in the back, girl. Here, here, here. When you put on music when you're cooking, the food tastes better. <laughs> Hurry up and come. That's where she comes in. So, Raj, how much time do you make this food? Huh? How much time do you make this food? Plenty time, plenty time. Oh, yeah. Where do you cook the mat in it? Why do you cook the mat in it right next to the bar? Oh. Look at me just finding in the fridge. Look like it's minus there, walk it in the pocket, you know. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Your mommy, I watch now. Yes, look, me find this in the fridge. What, what? You put your little rum in here, and me think you just go, you know, put it in the pocket. That's it, mate. That's it. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah, For this weather, you need that thing. Auntie B, you know, you see this guy cook for me today. Watch your watch. Yeah, You say you want to show people how you can cook. Just send people what you do. Live. Anyway, what do you want me to do? So, so far, what do you have? And I get, uh, I get you have pepper, spring onion, pepper. Lots of spring onion, pepper. Deal with it. It's far, right? It's gonna look good, bye. Deal with it, man. So onion now. Red onion it is. Why you don't use the white one? Huh? You like this one better? Red onion more flavor. Wait, all the onion you use? Where That's a lot of onion touch. Yeah, the solara got a little hard because we didn't do the um the thing properly. That's what we had for breakfast. With a cup of coffee, best thing ever. Oh yeah, I help you though. And great carrot. I don't really want to do nothing, but if you want me to help you, great the carrot. You, you, you can't want to just stand there, man. Deal with it. Make sure you guys share this video so more people can see what's happening in London. Yeah, and it's, it's really windy. Yeah, more people can see what's happening in London. And it's really windy and cold and rainy. And miserable. I'll show you outside in a minute. Ah! <laughs> and they're miserable. Yeah, all the fans all follow. <laughs> so this by now, what is this you say you make over here? Huh? What's this? Uh, pineapple drink. So you cut up some pineapple. We just use this to storm up like look, like whole pineapple you cut up here. It's you put in spice and clove. It looks like ginger in there as well. Anything else you put in there? No, no, that's it. Ginger, spice and clove. It's for the weather. It's for the weather. And you boil it. And then I'm going to make it. Put so it. Dairy style essence, some sugar. So, what yeah. is it you put in? Sugar? Sugar, essence and a bit of white rum. That's like a punch you make or That's going to literally punch it up. I just throw some. Good morning, Shelly. Some people say when man I cook your food it tastes better. But well, me no know. <laughs> Alright. All right, so let, me, let me know what you think. Because me no really know what I'm thinking. <laughs> ah! Vin can be better now, girl. Vin can be rum, you have that thing there. <laughs> yeah. Rum music. Hello, Tina. We ordered today because. Um, Thanks, can you? My friend here, Vin, is home today. He said he's gonna do a fry rice, right? so I said, alright, let me come by. He's a proper chef, you know, he works no, in one no, of the. No. <laughs> How oh, are this guy? He it's works in a, in, a, in a proper restaurant. It's my mother teach me for cook. 
Chinese style. The first thing me ever learned for cook was uh, chicken Korean rice. Me had to write it down on a piece of pad. <laughs> what you gotta put in? And from then, I start cook at the age of 10. Like? Like me rasp me. Me never believe you, mommy, love you for cook from the age of 10. Yeah. You thought you learned to cook when you come over here? No. That is the first thing I cook back home, me. Chicken curry. That was my first cooking as well. Chicken curry. Actually, no, I buy the rice already, but I'm not going to make all that cooking. <laughs> Hello, Gary from Trinidad. <laughs> this is this is Vin's um, favorite fried rice, and every time he eat his fried rice, me always want more. So that should tell you, from one cook man to the next, it's a good fried rice. We'll be opening a spilum today. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Too much pressure. Man, the pump video today. Dolly say you get good knife skills. <laughs> oh, Dolly. <laughs> natural, natural. Tina says she likes when a man can cook. Yeah. Good morning, Rosie. Man, I am born. Start crying. Man, I am born. But you don't pack roast now. Huh? You don't pack roast now. So you got to that, yeah. Yeah, um. Beverly Bell from Huntsville, Alabama. Hello. <laughs> what else you put in it now? Like garlic. Garlic. You know what? Feel this garlic. Do something. Stop that behind there. But me like the um, watch people cook. <laughs> Here, let me just, let me just take something and lash them. Let's take a broad knife and lash them. You, you see all that? You see all that? Uh, I'll take a small squash them. Right. See, we got time in front, yeah, do some work now. You want there, hi. You know what? You I tell do me, work. come watch you cook. You know, you want me to help you cook. You burn them. Well, for some of you guys, it's gonna be early. But over here, it's now um, five minutes to one in London. And it looks like early morning outside because it's so cold and wet. We'll get the other day all day. So, what do you want though? <laughs> well, do you want to do on live? So, come with a price, man. Girlie, our cooking in Guyana is similar to. Um, Scooch over, man. Our cooking in Guyana is similar to Trinidad cooking anyway. They're almost the same. Probably a slight variation of ingredients. Well, so you cook bulk out. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you want? <laughs> Any guy in this style food. Any guy in this style food, me a cook. But last time we get pepper pot. We did pepper pot Christmas time. Nice. I'll start a meeting there. Everybody like it. You know? I need that. Well, 
So that's chicken curry you want me to teach you to cook? Yeah. Nothing else. She don't teach me, me just watch my shadow. And then me go and have one notebook. And you mean that true that? You never teach me nothing. This is why I say you never teach him. Me. You watch, then we will write down where you gotta put masala, this <laughs> curry powder. <laughs> then we do it myself. Yeah, well, how the fourth one come out? You come out good. I'll see, man. You come out the best. <laughs> yeah, everybody cook the different. You come out good, man. Yam it out. Shine that plate. Chat it around everything. <laughs> yeah. You chat it Yeah, plate. if you don't come out good, you gotta pretend say you look good. <laughs> It is good, you chat it. I'll have to say you the plate. Yeah, you can pretend to say it is good as well, isn't it? You say chat it and take the plate, isn't it? <laughs> you see, mommy, say it's true. <laughs> what uh, What's your watch? <laughs> this boy used to get away. But first time we come in this country, right? Me, me never know no guy and these people and so on. You know, it's just family. just my brother and family and so on. So me reach up, he me like me at Christmas. You know, me had a partner for lime out with and this oh, we start cooking. First time I remember we start cooking was cook up rice. And you know cook up rice. <laughs> you know cook up rice when you water even it done, right? Like you sappy sappy. That's the best cook up rice I remember. <laughs> we used to buy like two chicken and put them inside one pot. <laughs> yeah, see more yeah. chicken and rice. We even went and buy the pot together, but look the pot still there. Like, show them the pot we went and buy. What is that pot? Yeah, what is the rice? But I use? A Jamaican Dutch pot. But I use? No, no. A Dutch pot just like a meal. Went to Brixton and buy the fast bike. Hello Angela. How you do? You look lovely today. <laughs> so we get a garlic, what are you gonna do? Chop that or are you blending? No no everything I chop up, chop up. You know blend them up? Art, art, sorry, sorry, you do your thing. Lady, but you watch me cut that there. You want to show you nice, nice skill, you see? There is no knife skill, man. It's all natural. Let's watch your finger. There is nothing went to college. <laughs> People went to college and study how to cook, how to buy the rice, how to cook beans. Nah, this is all natural. Hi, Sonia. We're cooking some, uh, some fried rice. Vinut style or Vin style. <laughs> So Badora, I want you to try this for our rice, you know. Badora cooks in New York for, for um, she does catering, right? So while she's cooking, she's watching us cook. <laughs> so I wanted to try this um thing. Now Shabana to work and she want me pack she share her food. <laughs> Still watch the video. Yes, so you can come, you know. Yeah. But you gotta hurry up because this is one food that doesn't last a long time. <laughs> you might have people turn up at the door in a minute, you know, say come in and bowl and say, let me, let me share that. So when you try this El Dorado, um, what is it, 15 or 10? How are we doing it? The 15 euro, and we get some coconut water here. Show them the animal. <laughs> yeah, you watch me cut that here because you're the chef. She said you're the chef in your own kitchen, so you watch me cut that hmm. Babe, aren't you meant to be at work? What are you watching here for? I 
sing nih, isang si Kong, Mak. Ini bahasa ibang aja. Ini bahasa ibang aja. Ya, get put out now. Alright, so ngayon garlic, shallow. Get me. Nandun na eh. Don't worry about it. Deal with that later. Talas, talas. Alright, let's... Come on, the people want to know what you're doing. So what you put it? What meat you put it in? So we doing nice. Jesus Lord. Oh God, your mommy a bit up now. <laughs> it's a special for Baker. This is a special Baker. He have family guests coming over later by him, so I'm just cooking this for him. Nice. So, so he using pork belly, which he doesn't want to say. <laughs> yeah, pork. But belly. remember, you guys can put in whatever meat you want. You know, if you want to use a. Um... So uh, then I'm going to do my side separate. Which is chicken. You got chicken there as well. So I have chicken for my chicken. It's going to be for me. Jamaica and a big people. Yes, yeah, so now you watch patiently to see how the man can cook fried rice. <laughs> how much pork belly really a put church? Uh, yeah, you, you, you some rice in it. So so what, tell me about the rice. What are you doing with the rice? Ah, uh, you could pre-boil it or, or, or you could uh, cook it with the uh, meat and everything at the same time. But it's, it, it gives you a better flavor when you um when you pre-boil it. Pre-boil it. You don't cook it soft. You just like just about when you get in soft, you could just give me stuff from. Wait, so we get the door open, the music might be a bit too loud, we just bear with us. We have a delivery coming in. Yeah man, you gotta move, you gotta move, man. So we got a delivery man doing a dance with the songs that's coming. You'll see me in a minute. Still raining. Let me help. Ask them if you are angry. Bassman! What part was it from? Bassman! Go and drink! Yo, Bassman! Go and drink! Go and drink or something! No, we're gonna drink the water, I'm drinking water, I just bought some water just a minute ago. No, just bring that in here. Yeah, put them in there, man. Put them in there. Give us a shot, give us a shot, man. Stop your man. Get a glass. Yeah, yeah. You get a glass in there. Get a glass in there, babe. Let me just turn the camera because they don't want to see. They're cooking food. Yeah, man. Glass in? Yeah, man. All right, all right. Walk first. No, he's on a spot. He's on a spot. He's on a spot. No, it's a cure for everything. Yeah, let me know. Just look at this. Just look at this. Straight, That's it. Free it up now. Yes, That's it. Let's go a signature for me. Give thanks, people. Yeah, All right, man. Bless, bless. Yeah, why? Well, 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 So we're just cutting up the pork into a little small chunk. So you're gonna fry that and then? Yeah. 
Like add it to the rice. Star fry with the pork, and then we add it to the fried rice. I think that's too much pork, you know, Chach. You will see that, mate. Ah, we get pork as cutters as well, mate. Cutters. I can't believe the delivery guy just had a shot of Eldorado. Straight. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> then you know he's a West Indian. You don't ask me what park we're from. <laughs> I have that question every god day. As soon as you open your mouth and talk. Yeah, oh, Patagi. where are you from? <laughs> Patagi. Yeah, Patagi from Guyana. Rhonda, you better hurry up. And come for this food if you come in. Rhonda, where are you? We're part of London, you Only if you live in London. Or you book me the flight. We come cook for you. Um, Beverly by any chance watching this? <laughs> but the rest of that's a true yardy. <laughs> I think he's Jamaican though. <laughs> I like barn and grow guy now. Sometimes I just think he's got um, Jamaican. Yeah, back to the food. Remember, you don't have to use pork. You can you use beef. any meat, any meat. You can even do it vegetarian. With food like this, you don't even need meat, to be honest. But next day we do vegetable style, vegan style, vegan. Everything. Fat free. Fat free. <laughs> yeah. Vegan. They don't eat no fat, no nothing, no this, no that. Everything natural from the heart. We Good call luck. it the eye towel. Good luck to that. Me want me meat. That's what I'm saying, Michelle. That's a lot of pork. And he said I got three more packets to go through. <laughs> Just not a lot of meat. But once it's fried down, it becomes small, small. Amityville. Where, where is Amityville? Once it starts to fry, it shrink. So it might look a lot. But once it shrink. <laughs> Rose, you say you take a lot. Is that a door again? Breeze by breeze, storm coming. A breeze. Just so, look. Just so the door broke up front. At the front, the door broke. Now, breeze and the bend fall from the door. Remember, you had the breeze the other day. Lose a storm. The bin fell and broke up the door, then the bin end up over the road. Yeah, the high wind the other day. <laughs> Chameli, you can come for some, yeah? It's Chameli. Oh okay. god. Really? It's by one know everybody, who's everybody, or where they come from and so when I come out I just say where you from <laughs> Are they curious or you fast? Fast. <laughs> Chinese style, fast, like to know everybody's business. Where is Uncle Gore, that man? You know there, Anya? Left the man, boy. Left the man. So, Michelle from Long Island. Long Island. Desmond, oh, walk on. <laughs> Are you please share the video so we can see? You know, see how far it can reach. Tell them some of this pork is for cutters. <laughs> cutters, me. Cutters. But you start off really small, but now you're gonna do big. With what? With the cutting. Oh. Gotta watch you, buy. Yeah, I cut too big. This Eldorado might be taking over. Yeah, but I'll raise my side. But Dora definitely, I'll come check you in New York. Here you, buy. Shabbat, no, no, we already said that. You know, whenever we go to New York, we're gonna check her out. 
with all that food. Yeah. Marsh, you own your own restaurant. Baby, are you in um, London? Well, some of the pork is gonna be cutters. Apparently. Somebody gonna drink later, not me. <laughs> Barbecue pork, sound good. <laughs> Alright, thank God for that. One more left. <laughs> you only look like that on the chopping board. Rotted by the spaghetti inside. <laughs> Somebody asked, when you go done with the pork? <laughs> soon, soon. It depends. It depends on what type of pork. Remember, this has nothing to do with me. This is this man um, recipe. Yeah. <laughs> so me it not depends. getting involved. How long you want to spend on the pork? You start <laughs> with your madness. With <laughs> yourself on the pork. Very man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, take long, that's the thing. You should have come like when you done. <laughs> what do you want? Don't get on fried rice or, or proper fried rice. <laughs> yeah? Good thing come to do so wait. Tuning in from Toronto, it's only 8 a.m. here. You guys are entertaining. <laughs> You're not gonna have a shot until you finish that thing there. <laughs> You know what, I think I can make this a little um, thing. Look for all the men that can cook in London and go follow them. <laughs> men is the best cook. Yay, finally! No, that is a lot of pork for truth. That is a lot of pork. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see how it's gonna come up. Huh? He probably wants every bite that he eats. He must get a piece of pork in it. <laughs> or two. <clears throat> That's why it's called food. come on. I'm getting hungry now. The salami eat last uh, this morning it wasn't any good. No, Pookie, here's some there. <laughs> oh, I brought him some of this anyway. He wanted mitai, so he got some mitai <clears throat> from yesterday and a piece of salara. He doesn't want salara, but I'll just still bring him a piece. <laughs> Omar Sukdeo says um, Don't give him no more rum until he um, <laughs> Otherwise he wouldn't see the fry rice <laughs> Alright uh, Really? I need a give me that glass <laughs> I need a wake up Salome ah. Ramroop, he has pork fry rice apparently It's coming, it's coming man So we need to wash it properly so we use a bit of vinegar. All we want to do, I just dig a bit out. So you 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 washing the, the meat now with vinegar? Malt vinegar for the matter. Doesn't matter. Vinegar, lime, whatever you have, you wash it with. But the bone might I have just this vinegar. You should have put it in a bowl and then wash it. <laughs> this is a cooking thing. <laughs> Somebody says it's gonna be a pork if I rice. Of course, please. <laughs> That's what you call. I really pork e fry rice. All it tastes is pork. Look quick now. Relax your ass. Man. Remember guys, follow my page. And let's um throw encourage. A let's throw a shot and go. Let's encourage more people to um, cook. Throw another shot. What's the hardest thing about cooking with? What do you think? You have to love it. If you don't love it, don't worry, cook. Abdo, morning. Finally, you reach. You have to enjoy what you do. So, you enjoy cooking? Of course. It's like my happiness. Cooking is your happiness? Yes. <laughs> happiness. But you know, when we were in Guyana, you, didn't, you never used to cook that much. Because your mommy always cook, isn't well, it? Well, me always there, walk. So, my mother used to do all the cooking. When I was back home, I wasn't doing that much cooking. It's only now and then I would cook. As I say, I started with chicken curry. And then when I come over here, my first job 
I was working in a shop and then the woman loved to do cooking so I watch one two things what she do too and then I learned from there and then my other job was in a nursing home as a chef well a catering assistant so I learned a lot of things from that chef she was Jamaican so yeah and then after that I started doing cooking after then she, you start liking it no <laughs> oh you like it from bar I always like it so but then on unfortunate or whatever thing happened she had to resign and then they offered me the position so. okay so that's your life story then all right my life history of cooking move your ass Wavering, 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 but Yeah, make a hurry. Morning Shazam, walk on. That pot can walk by that thing looks small. This I just fry up here. Right, so we move into the stove now. Light up the fire. Light up the fire rust. Maria we living in London. South East London. Now, we're part of Southeast London, you're from. Alright, we just put the pot on with some oil to hot. Stop. And then, and then the you fry, fry up the thing. You put the oil in already? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do the, 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 the nice pork. You'll be the one on drunk, man, with the food that cooking, you know. That's how you cook me. Is that a bigger burner? Yeah. Relax with the aisle hat. So we went for the aisle hat. We just waited for the aisle hat. Then we just um, pour a bit of seasoning in there and then fry up the pork. Once the pork done, then we do the fried rice. Once the fried rice done, then we jam our belly full. Ay, ay, ay. Abdul Shazam. So, tell me about. Is that Shazam? Is that Shazam? Yeah. Tell me about through this pineapple thing we have here. So, what are you putting there again? So, we did some homemade pineapple drink, which is like pineapple. You just slice it up and you put it on your chicken and you put it on your chicken. 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 I put a bit of ginger just to give you a little kick, some clove, a bit of cinnamon, and then I would mix that up with some essence. We went and done a drain it dry, drain the juice from that. Then I put some essence and then sweeten it with a bit of sugar. And then I put a bit of Guyanese style, 15 year old rum inside to give you that extra kick for the weather. And then that's it. You know? Yeah. They call it homemade Guyanese style. Pineapple drink. Where do you get this pot from? This pot come all the way. This is where we first met Be Be John Baker. Every friend, my good friend. John Baker, all the way back in the days when he first came to this country. We well, he married 2006. My, to my cousin and that kind of thing. Them so, yeah, he came over, he didn't have no friends at that time. So Yo, me had friends, don't lie. He had friends <laughs> back, back a yard, not, not over yard. So he, he didn't know much guy. You think that I'll so. hurt, you know? Yeah, so nah, this bike can't this is a, <laughs> All right, we chunk up some onion. So we tell me, tell me, onion force, yeah. So some onion. It gotta be onion force. It could be anything. A bit really? of garlic, just to give a little flavor to that pork. Some spring onion or shallot, as they say. We can see the pot, you know. You mm -hmm. rest there, push the thing in my face. <laughs> and then I drop some pepper. I put the two pepper there for flavor. What pepper is that? Chili pepper. And a bit of fine leaf thyme. Just broke it up and it fall in there so. If you want guys in style, make a really pepper too. Alright, let me drop two really pepper there for you. 
Where, where is the cross contamination? Huh? Where's the what? Somebody is talking about cross contamination. Oh, okay. Our style, we prep our cherry pepper the color. There you go. Oh. It looks like shiny there. So I'm not gonna rest it on it. It's just for the pork meat. Just some more. A little bit more onion. A little bit garlic. Yeah, they know that. Hey, you do your thing. We just watch. I'm an observer, like everybody else. Yeah, once it's fried up a little bit, get a bit soft, then we put the, the meat in. That's it, Baker. That's it. I like cooking the red onions. I yeah, let it fry up a little flavor. bit, release all the flavor in there, and then we put the pork in, and then all the flavor mix up in the pork. Same as the same thing you do with the chicken, the beef, where, what whatever I'm, meat you want to use. Yeah, whatever meat. All right. As the flavor part. I like the colors there, though. I like the colors. We just drop this in there. Already washed. Well, watch me. Drop it in there. Mm -hmm. You just mix it up a bit. And we allow that to fry up a bit. Just waiting for this to uh, just fry a little bit and then I'll drop some put some extra seasoning. So the utensils are clean. Uh, if you're talking about this stain around there, it's a normal after canary. 25 years of cooking in that pot, that's what we <laughs> come up with. Calm down. Can you stop it this way? No, no, I'm serious. We now do not need to do it that much. We now do it this way. Where you find this car, Jeff? From all the way from Pomeroon. Pomeroon, car, Jeff. All the way from Guyana. Did you bring this back from your suitcase, or? No, no, no. That's specially made. Shakila. Never heard about that, but yeah. So yesterday I said, the only guy needs if you have a coconut grater, you have one? <laughs> yeah, my <me> blender. <laughs> because the, 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 the coconut grater is about 40 pounds on your suitcase and you only allow 25 kg. If you want, if you know he's a proper guy and he's, you get a proper grater, coconut grater. But the rest is best cash. Eh? So listen to music in my play now. I don't know if you guys can hear the music. We'll be back now. The 
garlic curry bacchanal style now. Let's get you up a little bit of store. Yeah, that you share, that, right? that, that blessing. Oh, yeah. This is called blessing. <laughs> All right, we drop the seeds in the pan there now. So we have thyme. Thyme? Is that dry thyme? Okay. Yeah. yeah, garlic. So that's dry garlic. Ginger, some fried ginger. What's that one? Ginger. Ginger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, hard ginger in fried rice is like, um, have to be in the fried rice. The guy needs style chicken cube. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't do pork cube. <laughs> But you get guy in his style of chicken cube. Added flavor. So two that you put? Yeah. But I can't open my cube now. Yo, enough drinking for you, bye. We want to see this fry rice through today. We get the second best chef. You finish it off. So, but they said they don't have the cash drip all over. Only in Guyana you find that. Lovely. Alright, let me give this a turn. <coughs> This make me remember um, sauce without the liquid, obviously. But yeah, this is how sauce normally look when you cook it, which I need to do later on. Okay. And I just drop some fried rice seasoning. That's cheating. <laughs> you drop it out the pot. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Um, Rosie said she's getting aged waiting for the fried rice to done. Remember, we already cooked the rice. Good thing comes to lose all weight. <clears throat> so this is just the meat half to cook now, <laughs> and then mix into the rice. That's his way of doing it, I think. What's this now? Yeah, uh, extra seasoning. Oh, look What's up? Chicken seasoning. Chicken seasoning. Okay. Well, it's your style cooking, so I'm not getting involved. You cook it how you normally cook. Let me clap. She said, turn it at least. So he's turning it now. If ever you're cooking pork, I'll just make sure you cook pork properly. No. A little bit of pepper, black pepper. Give it that extra kick. I ran yeah. scotch bonnet in there. I give you scotch bonnet. You want some bird pepper? Tiger teeth. You want some tiger teeth? Buy me hungry now, buy this food like you're not done. Food are done, man. Food are done. Uh, food and cutters. He's got color to put in. He got lots, lots of pepper. I just want this to fry up a bit. Once it goes down, then I put the 
little bit of coloring. So he's got his um, peppers, he's got more of um, onion, he's got some um, mushroom and stir fry bits to go in. He's got parsley, he's got more thyme, but he just wants the meat to cook, which takes the longest. Yeah, I don't want to eat raw meat. My mother teach me to eat raw meat. Because I will lose water. Somebody said you'll lose water and then you know, what's this fry up then I'll put the um thing in. So do some meat and you can get some meat and you put it on that one. I put it in properly. Anyway. There's another silk up with that. We're talking about mango. So what? You talk. You some need. mango. So if if you go Mike, alright? There is mango farm in Maika. And all you have to do is look up on Kukurdak. You bring out the best mango from back from back down. I, I have already this food, you know. This thing I have to take your time and cook. Can't rush the pork. I don't want to get it. Anyway, let me show you outside. Yeah, uh, yeah do something different. Let me show you how cold and damp it is outside. Back or front? Back. Back more open the door. Let me show you the weather that we have over here, which is no good compared to what you guys have over there. Well, where are we? Our one is different from America. If you guys live in London, feel free to come visit. <laughs> so, so look what, look how the, what it breeze right. do to everything. All the fence are far along the back. Everything the picture. <laughs> And it's still raining. Look at the sky. That's the sky we have. No good. In Guyana, it probably blue blue right now. <laughs> Take another shot there. Look at the this is the weather we need to deal with. That's what is buy one drink rum every day. Depress. You depress? Depress weather. The weather is depressing. Oh lady, oh my drink rum and play with some little cat to get the walk. Where the cat there? Cat asleep. Anyway, the pot start bubbling now. Yeah, wait till the, the pork start frying and then we go, we put the pot in. So once the pork start fry up and thing, then we put the color in. We give it a color. Or we got where the water a little drain out, dry out. And then you see the... So listen, this is a video I saw on um, Facebook where you go to every guy in his house and you see one set of thing. <laughs> and every time he come he helps me, I always tell him. So look, you get some bottle rum here, Baileys and whatnot. You can't touch them, you know. <laughs> you can't say oh, open one, this thing and drink them out. You probably get put out, I'll have to get put out. Look, one set of rum, you tell okay. you, look. Especially this one. Look, that this one get dust on him. About 25 years old now. 25 plus 10. How much? Is it 35? 10? Yeah. yeah. This is about 25 years old now. This rum. Special Open location. Open see how it tastes now. Special location for this one. Today is special occasion. No. What do you have there? What's in the barrel one there? This one. This one is about... Um, 25 year old. Ah, uh, 25? No, this one. Oh, okay. From okay. the time I get it, it's about 25 year old now. So you buy rum for pack them up in here? Special location. Only guy, these people didn't think this, you know. There What's you that one now? This one is about 
20 years old. Donna Japan. <laughs> Say, look, look, going back here, look. Havana Club. That look empty though. Where are you going? I'm going to tell you, once that choo 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 thing all over the place. What's this one now? Nah, just a uh, decoration kind of. Where are you Put them back how you been. Put them back how you been. So we have a little trainee. Only guy is look, a little trainee. Flag. And the best the guy in these, then we got me Yadi style, then we got me Havana, then me Cuba, and then ah. <laughs> Only guy, eh? And then uh, with the family. You know, supposed to grate some carrot? We can't wait to taste this food, but this thing it takes a lot. I must say though, it smells good. This thing won't cook outside. Big flame, big fire. No Shabana Baker, we haven't started drinking yet. Are you checking up on me or what? I guess I have to settle for a um, Amita in the meantime. It does smell good. And you can see the seasoning working into the meat now. Where you going, boy? <laughs> Fire going. This is a cooker. Yeah, buy all my you're done just now. <laughs> just got with the water, the, the little water dry out, and then we put the uh, coloring inside. We have cast rape, Chinese sauce, and then we see the stove. The stove can't turn up, but you can't go fire it out. Look, that's the Mexican go. Is that a turn it down or turn it down go? Whichever side you go. So that is center. That is the biggest burner, you get Panama. We need a fire side right now, you know. There's no fire side. Fire side, you get the best. Who's talking about fire hazard? Where the fire hazard is this? <laughs> oh, God. No. How old were you when you first climbed a co uh, mango tree? Rapido. Good question. Young. May climb coke. No, well, mango tree broke, bust up my chin all year. Nah, we used to, well, in our yard in front, we used to have lots of. Uh, but we didn't have mango tree. Mango tree never grew up this year. They all struggled. <laughs> Everything plant one, you get bigger than you dead out. We have lots of um Young, young, probably five year old mistake <laughs> when man would Lynn, you're right. More food inspectors than anything else. Yeah. From the year of five year old man play mango tree. 
The first time I start climbing, I climb up, up to half way, then I slide down and bruise up my whole belly. <laughs> That's it. Me try to impress on girl climbing up on coconut tree. The thing that you may high, you know. For me. The girl said, oh, that coconut look nice. Me say, wait, I get them for you. Get what? <laughs> I get a go to the end, but the car comes and bottom. I'll be giving leg out. Yeah, right. yeah, pretend say he, yeah, alright. Back in the days, boy, you used to thief all the coconut for the people, yeah. I mean, not the thief, I just had lots of coconut tree. Well, when you go farm side, countryside, yeah, people are plenty nice. You get different type of coconut. Sweet, sour, bitter, whatever. Who that? Come, come, get on turn, get on turn. Just buy your rum again. Give me this glass. Yeah, I got food for you today. You continue drinking. Throw my water in, throw my water in. We have the water by long. Once the water by long, then you will see the real pork fried rice. Yeah? You got the water go long. Turn up the thing, man. Wow. Put it once at the bottom of the top, let them cook. Not that me just turn up the pot, you did? Me me see you just push them, push them a little bit. You just turn up the pot there. What this, is, what so Mala, is, Mala is see, asking where this buy from. You see, once this water buy long, yeah. Then you will see, then you will get the color. Then I'll put the color, the nice shiny sauce, the cash rib. Proper cash rib, Guyanese style cash rib. All the way from Pamaru River. Yeah. So, Mala is asking where this buy from. Yeah, me from Mahaika. Mahaika. Where the market there? Yeah, in the far from the market. Five minutes walk from the market and you will find me there. Yeah? So if you want to visit me a thing, you just <laughs> drop me a message. Who will visit you by? Yeah? Gordon, Gordon gotta watch yourself now. People can turn up a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My old man used to be for um, work for village office and I kind of think them there. If I like, if I like these people, your man used to be a teacher. He used to be teacher for hell in a primary school. You ever been here? Beat me plenty times. <laughs> take wood, eh? Wood and wood. Wood and wood. Wood, 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 Guyanese style beating. If you're Guyanese, do you know what I'm talking about? Guyanese style beating. So, my me, me cousin said, uh, when I'm small, Bye, I was used to get bad licks, by. That's what my cousin tell me, right? So, I said, Why you used to get licks with? He said, Bye, you used to get bad licks with Pinta. <laughs> Pinta. Rotten. I said, What Pinta you talking about, by? Me used to get licks yeah. with wood, stick, belt. Anything. Why? Uh, Pelt you a bark like that. If they can't reach a pelt you. <laughs> pelt you a bark and everything, boy. I tell you. One, one look on your guy's parents, that's it. You start trembling, shake. <laughs> eh? That look alone in the eye. Once you see that look, that's it. You're done. You know Sikumar from Aika? Who? Sikumar. 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 Is that is that a welder man? What is patch car and truck and stuff? His father name is Gordat Singh. I think I know. I think I probably know him by face. Wait, me know all about from my but me yeah, know but my which name. part? Which part? Uh, um, my car. They're from. That's his problem. So I'm going to just wear this dry down a bit more and no then bit. I'm going to put the uh, car strip and thing in. Now if you put this in, it's going to be too much like watery, watery. So I want the car strip and the um, Chinese sauce to fry up, not to like dry away with the um, sauce, the water in the, or what the pork use, mm. loose. But all meat lose the same water anyway. If you yeah. fry chicken in there, you know chicken the same way. Yeah, the same, the same way. 
But I want the water to dry down a bit more and then I'll add the sauce into it. Okay. So you, 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 you feel that flavor. So the pork don't cook then? Or your Amazon cook? I almost cook, but when you add the other flavor, then you add it to the fried rice, then it steam a bit more, then everything nice and cook and flavory. So yeah. And then you kick it back with me a little um, homemade pineapple drink. With an extra bit of kick of um, so in the Chinese rum in there. This will not make it cold, Josh. But yeah, look, don't we think? How about your work? Bye, yeah. get them all over? Um, Indira is asking me not working today. Indira matches. No, so. no, I'm off today. I'm off today, back to work tomorrow. Back to work at King's College Hospital tomorrow. Yeah, I'm out four days. Woohoo, beat that. Lucky you, eh? Lucky you. I'm only out for one day. And this guy put me on my one day off just to cook some food to show you guys. When I'm meant to be relaxing. Plant is here, watch ya. Alright, where the pot bubble up there? <laughs> it's bubbling, it's bubbling. You can smell all them spice coming through now though. Especially the pepper. Now what pepper you put in here, bite? You can actually hear the music. Do I want to soak it? Do I want to it? Do I tell you, the smell of this, all this seasoning, you know, so it makes you really, really hungry. And I can tell you, it smells really good. If it was chicken, it probably don't cook already. Because chicken don't have to be, um, you know, you don't have to cook it that much. So I got this mango. This is probably one of the most popular mango you find in um you find in you know over here. You do find the Indian mango as well, which is like the cup mango. But this one is a uh, thick. So anyway, feel this one. Watch out. Watch out. Really played it. Well, you got a intro and then you get a new Okay, I'm sure I'm going to feel good in this style, man. Alright, drop a little pepper sauce on this, you're alright. What do you call it? Cutters? Salt and pepper. Look at me just fine. If you have a cook up rice. What is that? Wow. 
Mala, Mala from Supply. She said she don't, she don't know you though. But you know Gordat. You should know Gordat. Gordat sing. Baron Grong Dam. You should know Baron Grong Dam. Should think about man. My coffee. What is golden? Yep, that's right, Achar. Yes, Kevin, come for some. <laughs> Somebody says smoke, Karen. Nice, Achar. Mango Achar. Buy with the salt and the pepper there. It's all not come out, eh? This thing done now, you know. We can't wait no more. Wait, wait, Akshaw. Aye. What the pepper then? So the mango there, you know. We just want some pepper. Turn the picture. <laughs> what is that? Is that Chinese sauce? What is it? Where you get all the Chinese sauce from? <laughs> yeah, Kevin, hurry up and come. Yeah, I get a bank ticket or something and you know. Put them in. Can I drip? Give it a star now, let's see. This man go go just with salt. See the color there? Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, we fire up. Hey sing you something to come back here, you there watch the video? Yeah, yeah we fry up a little bit more, dry up a bit more and then we we start it out with it. Fry rice and oil. You fry the rice separate? Yeah. And the rice to fry up? I love it. This is just wow. Uh, Man, 
goes to Yeah, yeah honey yeah, honey. Honey, that's the game that will play, but... This is like a honey pork fried rice. <laughs> honey, my app. Hold the pot, please, before you make it fall. Let me get crying cry today. Yo, Josh, hold the pot. But, all right. The hard is, you know. So we just uh, wait for that to dry down a bit. Then we start frying the rice. And then you call it the nice. Can I put any rice on the side there? Yeah? No. Why? We stop not that big. <laughs> so once it's dry down, we start down. Once it's dry down, you just pour this into the fried rice. And add the flavor into the pork. Go into the fried rice. Basically, you have to come up. You have to come up. Yeah, watch, but you have to come. Let me drink this. Yo, you had enough drinking, or Josh? You want this rice to eat today? So when you think you'll get them next year? I was say, I think the good thing but it is good take its time but we can have the same agreement Summertime is coming That's when we're gonna get a barbecue out and we're gonna do lots of barbecue outside so that's my favorite food, mm -hmm. barbecue. What about? Are you going to leave that one? Okay. Go kill some of I don't know about nobody, right? But I like to turn pot. <laughs> I think I'm like my father. My father was not a chef. He didn't know, know much how to cook. But he loved to turn a pot. If he's walking past, he would turn the pot. When he walk past back again, he would turn the pot again. So he's a pot turner. Like me. There we are, already packed Prince Harry bag and send him away. So now what I'm gonna do, because we can't wait them all. Cutters. Call the cutters section. Let's pick out some. This is just a test, right? That's the cutters made. Cutters. Is 
Oh, it is, boy. Oh, it is. Moi, moi. Alright, the stir fry down here now. This is a good portion now. And this stir fry down. Look at this. We have another two minutes. Once the fry down, when we start, start out the rice. Fry up the rice nice, then you drop that in. Take, take a bark and try it. Come. Take a bark. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We give Chinese a run for the money. If you think Chinese cutters pork is the best, think again. Yeah. Make all them Chinese go to business. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need a book to sing now. Sing. Hey, pretty level. Alright. This nice and fry ya yeah, so. You don't want them to dry dry. You don't want them to sing. Then we're going to use this as the sauce. We'll mix up in the fried rice when we start frying up the fries. Exactly. Yeah? Alright. So you're gonna remove it? Where you put it? I'm over, I'm over. Yeah, so, right. more you put on now? So now, we have to deal with the rice. Let me move my mango. I want mango, I want. Thank you. Deal with the fried rice. Just when you put the top of it a little bit and then we put the oil in. Again, we're gonna make this clear. This pot is not dirty. It's this. It's just, it's just how it was made. Years. Over the years, over five, six years cooking in the pot. It has holes like that's that's gone a bit dark. That's what happened. If it's a cooked parcel, you would know the difference between a clean pot and a cooked pot. <laughs> the pot is cooked. They get a message, trust me. It's like using and using and using. Yeah, what? I don't know. Melt for something. Wait, hot little. You see the difference when you put your hot aisle? Anyway, we're going to eat my pork in the car and here by night. Alright, now we put them in the aisle to fry up the bear seasoning. Pot is nice and hot. Give it a few seconds for the aisle to get hot. Then we will start frying up the stuff. Thank you, Madura. <laughs> I'm going to the fire in my battery. Oh, yeah. We're going to charge. We're going to two hours. More pepper? More pepper, yes. More pepper in your fire. Alright, you put that for flavoring. Flavoring the oil. Flavor the oil. A bit of onion, garlic. So now you're doing the rice. Then we put a bit of onion, get all the flavor in, get all the flavor to bars. Store, store, store. Bring on the big spoon, yes. Alright. 
get all the flavor to burst in there. Pass all this fry up and thing. I look like Chinese cooking. <laughs> or Indian. Indian people use this pepper a lot. Bye, relax. Just a little bit. Yes, yeah, Kelly and in there. As I say, onion. Thing he release all the flavor inside. Just say for dinner time. <laughs> Just so. Okay. But then once the rice going, I show you the different size. Please hold the pot before you start them. No? Anyway, you get like about 55 minutes before we leave the thing. So cheers guys. I know it's probably too early for you guys, but yeah. Coconut water and El Dorado. Bramley Sark, we're all wagon. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. They cook up a star, maybe. You can't eat this, though. <laughs> Tina said there's a saying when you hide, the food tastes more sweet. <laughs> Where did I buy it? Yeah, come over here. Yeah. See, that is a true saying. What is it? For me, just forget about putting salt in the food and make it high. <laughs> And the pot star returns. I like cooking with these peppers as well. They're um they're not too hot. And they give it a nice look as well and the flavor is alright. In the USA, make it um, hungry and touristy at the same time. In the Roma cheese. When you say it's you, oh, it's not your family then. <laughs> he thought it was his family in the US. You're probably at work. What's that? Ginger. More ginger? Yeah. I just put in some pressure. Yeah. The ginger gave it a kick, isn't it? Ginger. The pieces of ginger in there. Um, a bit of garlic. Garlic. Um, ground garlic. Yeah, so once this fry up nice and thing, now we deal with the other section. Then we add some pepper. Once this fry up a little bit. Ah, that looks nice in there. Yo, yo, mind the camera. <laughs> Buy one knock over this camera, you know. Let me have stir fry. Stir fry. So it's mushroom. Mushroom and vegetable, yeah. Carrot. 
like a vegetable fire rice now. If you have vegetarian style, this is it. You throw it the fried rice. No rather, we not we not batching. We not batches. <laughs> We're married men. At least the last time I checked me I was married, yeah. You know what? I would I would have this fry up and eat it just like that. Cause that looks really good in there. Like a, a vegetable fry. Thank you, Ashanti. Sometimes she love to see men cook. Well, I think that when when man can cook, you know, the woman will have a, um, you know, like like a grip against you. She can't put you out, or she can't lift you. When she lift you, say, "Alright, when you come back." What's in there, buddy? Because my father used to say, learn how to buy the rice. Once you can buy the rice, you can put salt on it and eat it. <laughs> so even if some, your wife got left here, you can buy the rice, you can survive until she comes back. Yes, but Badura. Yeah, that's what I said. This looks good just to eat just like that. This is very exciting now, you know. I think it's where I'm going to go ahead. You better hurry up and cook this food when we get to eat. I think that's how I am that. I would have leave it just like that no. It's soft. Yes, Alright, then you do your fire rice. You just uh oh, no feel Alright. I want to do or me. May I help. From since we go live, me and my second shot, I'm not done yet. I feel like you got done the battle, you know? <laughs> Are you dance now? Oh god. Let me see the shot. Bye, not that shot, the dance shot. <laughs> yeah, I think he tips here already. Yo, lay last shot. Yep, when you tell him a last shot, you dance. <laughs> It's not the El Dorado you drink. <laughs> He's having Cobasier. And that's the last shot when you 
So now the rice coming now. Oh god, more mess. <laughs> Go from the bottom now, just the bottom part, yeah. Let's get out there. Ah, whole mouthful of rice left in the bike. Alright, come story part. Start, start. Ask, what Make did they add? Make some up. Now we can see the true colors. Ah. Remember guys, follow Ben Baker Hobbies and share the video so we can try and inspire more men and more women and more Guyanese and more people to cook. So far I right seasoning yeah, and some vegetable cheese in there. More? Large. That's so Garlic. You don't put give, give flavor. Yeah, ginger into the rice. Wait, no man. Do you put salt in this or no? Or you put it after. I think it's very good you pour it. Me? I see no. Just taste it first, wait. Wait a minute. Let me don't mix your taste it and see. Cover it all and see. Now you put it in there. Me want care about half of this pot food now. So I'm gonna cook. So I'm gonna cook. No more anything now? No, 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 for me. So, if you're vegetarian, that's it. You don't need anything else there. Probably a bit more salt. But if you're meat mouth like us, then you pour in your sauce. Look at that. We have like some cutters. <laughs> That's a little. I can do chicken. <laughs> so then you mix again. Remember, you still have your fire on in the bottom there. That's, um, you know, it's warm. You know, back your rice, hot. So, a bit more color in the rice. We can add a bit more color. Come on, this one. It's not about the color, it's about the taste. Oh, God, my Anna broke out. Somebody says they put in more cash. 
Just a tiny bit. Just to give them the extra bit of color. So you think may may mix that today? Yeah man. If you wanna do the video you gotta do a bit of hard work to clean it. No joke, right? But this look good. Can you bring a plate, please? Let me try some. Let's see if we need more salt. Right, actually, get a fork. Let me try some. This is one food you're ready to eat right away. Probably. So now you're gonna put in your hand. I'm gonna mix again. So we got some more spring onions. Throw all of it. That just so add the flavor. And you got um. No, no, no. Eat it. And cut up. Just like full of Lego. So we got some parsley. Rough, rough, roughly roughly there. Like add a flavor. Wait, me take over this cooking now. <laughs> yes, Fazio. The food looking good. Me can't wait to eat. It's like me know you're near done, but like me still can't wait. This, need, this thing need a big paddle for the corn on. Look at that. Look at that. All this flavor in one pot. Plate. Family! Plate. Now what this pot is about? It's about family. Pretty far. The fat it? is about family. You don't want to taste it? Taste now. Maybe not more. Sure. Yeah. You just need me to eat it. Alright, you need anything? Okay. How much spoon for tech? One, two. Well that is what you call a Guyanese fried rice. It wasn't quick, but um <laughs> This is like heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Five bucket door. So there you go. Lots of color. Lots of flavors. Lots of meat as well. And delicious. Absolutely delicious. Try it now. Now the chef don't want to try the food now. Come try the food, let me see. <laughs> Lord, give me, give me more, see. Very, very tasty, delicious food. Louise, I did a bunja chicken yesterday. How come you didn't see it? Anyway, guys. <laughs> I have to deal with this here now. <laughs> you need to subscribe to my good brethren right now, Benjamin Baker. Yeah? 
He bring you all the latest and and um yeah remember best Guyanese remember to subscribe guys food. follow me YouTube and um, Facebook see you guys later bye all right big up to my good friend Benjamin Baker go bring you this all this latest good Guyanese food yeah all right bye.